the time of the season for Judas. Ah, dun, dun, dun. Ta, dun, dun, dun. Ta, dun, dun, dun. Ta. Yeah. Here, here's the thing. Uh, all of you people that want to be totally into it without having all of it involved, there's a story that Judas had. Judas, well, there's no better friend that you could ever have than Judas. Judas. It was, it was a betrayal of the self. He, um, he had a strong belief. He was a zealot. He wanted to overtake something. And then he got hooked up with Jesus. And uh, he said, ah, I love you, brother. The things you say, they make perfect sense and I will follow you till the end and then he does what he's told and turns him in because there's Jesus he's supposed to be crucified if he's going to be the Messiah you can't have a Messiah without a crucifixion and they they pinned him up heads up didn't make a thief out of them. But they did pin them up. Which normally they'd just break your arms and legs and hang you off a fucking thing. Until you're fucking, you bled out in your lungs. And then they'd stick you with it to let it bleed a little bit. Let go of some of the fucking hate let it bleed down so you can die slower it makes for a better show but here there's your Judas there would never have been a Judas without a Jesus I'm here to clear the name of Judas. The Gospels of Judas? Have you read them lately? Oh no! They didn't put it in the books. <laughs> it's the time of the season for Judas. So here we come up and we watch. Uh, you want to know my, my relation to this Judas thing? Probably not. You've already probably said how much I'm hateful in a comment without having seen how much love I hold. I once ended up in the place of my birth and there was a woman that looked at me and she said, oh, and she doesn't know anything about me. Just because you wear a beard doesn't mean you represent Judas. I mean, if she'd been on Jeopardy and guessed that I was Judas, she would have won a fucking prize. No, she looked at me and she said, you were there at the time of Christ. You. You were in the bars. You didn't witness the... What do they call it? Crucifixion. It, it's it's so whatever. It's overplayed. 
Everybody was getting crucified those days. But they said, she said, you did not witness the crucifixion, but you were in the bars at the time. And I said, yes, yes. And you heard the stories of what happened with the Jesus. Ah, yes, yes. They can act like I had a lot of money at the end, but the truth is I only had so much left and I've always been good at running it right till the end. And so the next day, what? Judas hangs himself and they blame him for everything. That was the biggest mistake Judas made right there. He's like, he should have stuck around to stand in court and say, bullshit. I know that poor guy likes saying the word bullshit, so I'll use it. Bullshit. Instead, he just got out of there because he was sad. He loved his friend and he, uh, he just killed himself to get it done with. The part that's missed after that is his tail because, well, they just pitched it out. He, he stood in a tree. He spent the money on the property over there. It's still there in Gaza or wherever the hell it is. They talk about these things. I'm not sure about any of it. But they talk about how he's like, ah, bought that property and threw himself out of a tree. And the story goes that if you hang yourself properly, your guts will come out into the fields of the damned. And evidently, that's what happened. I, I really, I don't mean to get in anything religious right here. All I'm saying is that um, Jesus is just all right by me. Jesus is just all right. Oh, yeah.